This is just a real quick video to go through another U substitution example. So pause the video and write down this example and then we'll go through it. Hopefully in this one you are looking at the denominator and you are going to let U represent your entire denominator. It's not being raised to a power, it's just the denominator. So U would be 15x squared minus 2x cubed. DU over DX would be 30x minus 6x squared. All right, at this point, when you multiply by the differential dx, you end up with du is equal to 30x minus 6x squared, and all of that's being multiplied by dx. What you need to do now is stop and look. Look to see if you think um, that matches up. How does it match up? And then on the next slide, you'll see how this all comes together. What? Okay, so hopefully you have looked at this and you're recognizing that we can pull a factor of 6 out of 30x minus 6x squared. And when we do that, we would have du is equal to 6 times 5x minus x squared dx. Now you're at a point where you can stop and look the same way that we've talked about. So look, 5x, squared, 5x minus x squared is the same as the numerator of our original fraction. There's our differential, dx. It looks like 6 is this factor that we can't identify, so we take and divide both sides by that factor. du over 6 is going to replace 5x minus x squared dx. Before we make our substitution, I want you to take a minute and look back at our original integral, because what I'd like to do is rewrite it just to make sure that you understand what it looks like. And really, it looks something like this, 5x minus x squared dx times 1 over 15x squared minus 2x cubed. And if you look at it that way, when we make this substitution, I think you're going to see that ln x or ln u actually falls into place. So we're going to let 5x minus x squared dx be represented by du over 6, 1 over 15x squared minus 2x cubed is going to be represented by 1 over u. Look how much we've simplified. You can certainly pull the factor of 1 sixth out. That's where that comes from. You're left with 1 over u du, go ahead and anti-differentiate, and you end up with 1 sixth ln absolute value of u plus c, and then your final step is just to take it back to x, so 1 sixth ln the absolute value of 15x squared minus 2x cubed plus C.